Hello friends, this video on integrals part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 12. Let's solve some more questions now. Integration of sin cube x cos square x dx. For this, I'll tell you a rule. The rule is if I have sin x to the power 2n plus 1, that is odd power into cos to the power 2n, some other number, this is n1, n2, you can say x dx. In this case, you should take cos x st. Other way around, if you have sin x to the power 2k and cos x to the power 2l plus 1 dx, here you should take sin x st. The rule, why I'll explain you why I got this rule. Because, see, square terms, any way you can convert. For example, in this case, sin x, cube x, I can write as sin x, sin x into sin square x, correct? Into cos square x. Sin square x, I can easily convert into cos square x by sin x into 1 minus cos square x into cos square x dx. So now if you see, I have all cos term, if I take cos x as dx, if I take cos x as t, I get minus sin x dx as dt. So sin x dx is something which is there. And these I can write in the form of t, t square 1 minus t square. So that's what if you have any odd power, odd power. So if you have, see if you have sin the power odd power, I can take cos xt. So you can take, I'll say is t is nothing but even powers. Or you can see, why? You take whatever is in the even power as t. Here, cos is in the even power. I took cos x as t. In this case, if you see, I have an example. For example, I have sine to the power 8x into cos cube x dx or cos 5x dx, any number. In this case, this is this is even power. So I'll take sin x as t. Why? Because cos 4x, I can write as cos 5x, I can write as cos 4x into cos x, right? And cos uh, to the power 4x is nothing but 1 minus sin square x to the power 2. Correct? Because cos square x whole square. And this, if you see, is nothing but I can write in form of t. And this guy, this guy will go with dx. Correct? Because sin x, if you take t, then you get cos x dx as dt. Correct? Cos x dx as dt and this guy will go with the t. So that's how the rule is. If you have a sin x to the power m into cos x to the power m dx funda, whatever is the even power, we'll take that guy as t. So here we'll take cos x as t. If you take cos x as t minus sin dx is equal to dt. So sin x dx is equal to minus dt. So this guy is nothing but minus cos x as t. So 1 minus t square. Here this is t, so this is t square into dt, correct? This is nothing but integration of t to the power 4 minus t square dt. This is a very simple integration now. So this becomes t to the power 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 minus t to the power 2 becomes 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 plus some cost. And that is nothing but t to the power 5. t to the power 5 is nothing but cos x to the power 5 because t is equal to cos x, cos x to the power 5 by 5 minus cos x because t is cos x to the power 3 by 3 plus some constant. And this is my answer. Let's take one more example sin x by sin x plus a dx. We have to integrate this and this is a little complex integration so we'll
convert this into a simpler by substitution. Such kind of integration where you have uh, the denominator is a little complex. See, if I expand this sin x plus a, I have expanded denominator. That will be like this. Sin x by sin x plus a will be sin x cos a plus cos x sin a. Right? dx. Solving this kind of question is a little difficult. Has this been the other way around? That is, this guy is denominator and sin x is denominator. Life is simple for me, right? Because that kind of equation is a little easy to solve. So let's do one thing. Let's convert this into that kind of form where this guy has sin x plus a form and this guy is sin t form. To do that, let's assume x plus a is equal to t. So I get dx is equal to dt. But here I'll write x will be t minus a. So this becomes sin of t minus a and this becomes sin x plus a that is sin t dt. Now if you see you expand this now, if you expand this now, this becomes sin t cos a minus cos t sin a both side divide by sin t. Correct? The whole thing into dt. This sin t sin t also cancel. So if you see this kind of equation is simple for me to solve. So this is nothing but if you see cos a is a constant here. Integration of 1 dot dt minus sin a is constant here. Integration of cos t by sin t is cot t dt. So this becomes cos a into t right minus sin a cot t is nothing but log of mod of sin t plus constant. Correct? And that is my value. Now, but this equation is on the form of, not on the form of t, so I'll replace t with x plus a, the last thing. This becomes cos a into x plus a, so I'll write x plus a here, x plus a into cos a minus sin a minus log of sin t is uh, sin of x plus a plus t is x plus a plus cos a, and that is my answer. So this is one kind of uh, integration where you have sin x by sin x plus a and we know that this kind of thing is difficult for me. So I converted this pattern with sin x by sin x plus a into sin t minus a by sin t because my denominator should be as simple as possible. So sin t is a simpler version than sin x plus a and then I found that if you see this is easy for me to find integration also. So this become an easier uh, um, question to solve and then for an answer. See to get mastery into integration you have to practice. There is no one rule that fits all the questions. The more you practice the more kind of questions you get and more comfortable you become. For example this is one kind of questions where you have sin x by sin x plus a that is the denominator has uh, some more parts than x then you try to make it as t and get this kind of equation. We'll take for Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.